Allah said, I have not created jinn and man except to worship me. Now, Allah created us. He did not create human beings or jinn just except to, worship, except to worship him. Now, we just in this world as a purpose. We are in this world to worship Allah alone. That's why. Allah said to worship me alone and to do not put anything aside, you know, besides me. Don't put any like, like, don't any shirk, don't worship anyone. Only worship Allah alone. Because shirk is one of the major sins in Islam. And we should avoid shirk and all of this, you know, sins that. Allah said to stay away from we need to stay away from them and you know is it's a duty to us as Muslims that we should only worship Allah alone do not um, put anything before him don't put any shirk bef you know don't associate anything before him because only we should worship Allah alone and our purpose is to worship him alone. We didn't come in this world to, you know, for nothing. There has to be a purpose. There's a purpose in this world and there's a reason to it. Why did, why did we come here? Allah tests us through every hardships. Every, every hardship we go through, Allah tests us. Allah is with the patient ones. So if you're patient, Allah's with you. If you're grateful, Allah's with you. If you're ungrateful, if you're ignorant, Allah, Allah is no need for you. No need for you. So we should be grateful and we should only worship Allah alone. Alone. Not to associate any partners with him, but him alone. And we know as Muslims that there's a lot of evil things that we should stay away from. Like, for example, shirk, zina, adultery, fornication. We should stay away from these stuff because these would affect us at the end of the day. If we do, if we go to them, it would affect us. No doubt, these things would affect us. And we shouldn't really go to to that, you know, stage. You know, because it destroys your life. It destroys you as a person, and it destroys your life. Because these things does destroy your life. And as Muslims, we shouldn't really go there. We should try and stop it. We should not go near it. Allah says in the Quran, "Wala taqrabu zina." Don't go even near to it. Don't go near to it. Yeah, we shouldn't go there. We shouldn't go near to it because it it would destroy your life. It would destroy your whole, like your you as a person. As Muslims, we should avoid that. Just we should read Quran. We should learn Tawheed. We should learn Tawheed Rububiyah, Tawheed Uluhiya, and Tawheed Asma As uh, Al Wasaf As. Uh, as, there's another one that I need to, you know, there's another one. I, le I learned the Tawheed, but um, there's another one. I'm sure other Muslims know it. I can't pronounce it now. But yeah. These things that we should focus on, we should worship Allah alone. Yeah? Because these things would benefit us in this life and the next. We should be focused on the dramaness and all of this and 
the negativity and you know people because you know in because uh, uh, Islam is getting attacked left and right and center yeah in this life a lot of people are attacking Islam and it's only the ignorant people who attacks Islam saying lies saying lies about Islam every and each day and we should try our best to avoid it and just to to worry about ourselves as Muslims to keep worshipping him about uh, ilm to worship him alone Allah keep in worshipping him yeah keep and do many good deeds as you can as a Muslim Try your best to do as many good deeds as you as you can, wherever you are. Do as many good deeds as you can as Muslims. Yeah, because we know as Muslims that Islam is getting attacked left and right and center. There will be a war, no doubt of that. But thing is, we should be worrying about how much good deed did I do. Let me try and make this the good ending of my life try to do my namaz on time improve myself as a muslim ibadah worshiping him alone you know learn um you know learn uh, you know a lot of things in islam there's a lot of things that muslims should learn you know the basic things that people don't even know they have to learn these stuff as muslims one of the basic things in Islam and you know Islam would never die yeah Islam is spreading around the world whether these ignorant people like it or not Islam would live but Islam is getting attacked because of these ignorant people who are spreading lies about the Prophet who are spreading lies about Allah who are spreading lies about Islam there will be a war but as Muslims, we should try ourselves to improve ourselves, worshiping Him. You know, uh, uh, what is it? Stay away from the negativity, because we are gonna waste our time. You know, wasting our breath speaking to these people. It's not worth it. It's not worth of my time. It's not worth of your time, and it's just unnecessary. It's not really worth it. It's gonna waste your time. We have to use our own time. We can't use time for useful things. We need to use our time for benefit things as Muslims. So, so that is my kind of speech that I'm giving out, you know, there, you know, as a Muslim uh, sister to everyone out there. So that's my advice. That's my speech that I gave to people. And don't make your time useful. Don't make it waste wasteful. Don't you use your time in wasteful things, going to Instagram, going to YouTube. All of this, you know, it's gonna waste your time. It's not gonna really benefit you. Learn Quran, read Quran, read, learn, recite the surahs in the Quran. Um you know learn to improve yourself as a muslim how to change be more humble more patient allah tests everyone you know you know life is a test allah will test you left and right no matter what but you as a muslim should be humble patient and know that allah's with you wherever you go allah's there allah's here to support you because at the end of the day when you die allah will be there no one else yeah no one else not even your close ones not even your loved ones so let's be prepared for that day and let's get ready for ourselves as muslim to do as much good deeds as we can as muslims and to worship allah and to worship him alone alone not to associate anything with him we know that shirk is one of the major sins in islam and we shouldn't even go near it. So that's my advice. 
I hope this video benefited you. Give it a like, comment, share, subscribe. Feel free to subscribe. I'm not forcing to anyone to subscribe to my channel, but feel free if you like my videos, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, uh, feel free. And yeah, guys, assalamu alaikum. May you know Allah bless uh, my sisters and brothers in Islam, and inshallah. You know, um, let's pray that, you know, all of us, uh, you know, go to Jannah, Jannah for those one, you know, inshallah, let's strive there to achieve that is to worship him alone and to do as many good deeds as we can. Okay. All right. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.